In this tutorial, I'll show you how to remove the background from any image using ARD image matting software. ARD image matting is a powerful AI-driven tool that gives you precise background removal, especially for detailed elements like hair, fur, and transparent materials. To get started, head over to the official website and download the software. You'll find the link in the description below. Once it's downloaded, right-click on the setup file and select Open, then click Run. Agree to the license terms and click Install. The software will install, and when it's done, click Open to launch ARD image matting. You'll be greeted with a clean, user-friendly interface. In the media section at the bottom you'll see some sample images. You can use those to test the software, but I'm going to import my own images from my computer. There are a couple of ways to import images. The first way is to click the ARD image matting button at the top, then go to the file menu and select add images, or simply press CTRL plus O. The second option is to click the large add button in the center of the screen, select all the images I want from my folder and hit open. Now you can see that the images have been imported into the software. To preview any of your images just click on them. Once you've chosen the image you want to edit where you'll remove the background, you'll need to adjust a few settings for the AI tool to work its magic. First, choose the hardware that will give you the best performance. This will ensure the editing process runs smoothly. Then, select your AI model. You'll have several options here. Alpha Standard V2, Alpha Edge V2, Edge Clear V2, and Solid Matte V2. For this tutorial, I'm going to go with Alpha Standard V2. Now, let's expand the edit settings. Inside, you'll find the AI Enhance models for the image. In this section, there are three options, More Detail GAN V2, Smooth Diff V2, and Real Photo V3. For this tutorial, I'm going to select Smooth Diff V2. Next, in the Upscale options, you can choose either X1 or X2. Since I don't need to upscale the image, I'll select X1. You can also rotate or flip your image here if needed. Plus, these settings can be applied to Batch Export as well. Now let's move on to the AI Detect settings. Here, you'll see the Automatic AI Detect button. When you enable this, the software uses advanced AI algorithms to automatically detect the main subject of the image. Below that, there's the Manual Area tool. The Manual Area feature gives you precise control over the area you want to isolate. If you prefer more flexibility, you can manually define the exact region of the image to focus on. If you want to clear a manual selection, just right-click on the area and click Clear. Next, let's expand the refinement settings. Here, you'll find options like Smooth Processing, Outline Emphasis, and Balance Brightness. By default, I usually enable Smooth Processing to make the edges of the subject cleaner and more refined. Once you've made all the necessary adjustments, click on the Start Image Matting button, and the software will begin processing your image. In just a few moments, the background will be removed. After the background is removed, you'll see several effects and tools for fine-tuning on both the left and right sides of the preview window. On the right, you'll find RGBA options, which allow you to manage things like the image's transparency. For the effects, you can choose from several options, including background settings like feather, blur, black and white and pixelation. You can also select a solid color for your background or use any image you like. Just click on the image option in the effects settings. And you can browse your computer to pick a new background image. After importing your background image, it's time to adjust the settings for the best effect. All of these options are available on the right side of the preview window. You can experiment with different blur effects in the background blur settings to see what works best for your image. You can also apply different blur effects to the subject if needed, especially when you want to blend the subject smoothly into the background. On the left side of the preview window, you'll find several useful tools to fine-tune your image. The Eraser tool lets you remove unwanted areas from the foreground or background. You can adjust settings like Threshold, Alpha, Hardness and Size to get clean, precise edges. 
The brush tool is used to refine both the foreground and background selections. You can adjust the alpha size and hardness to paint over specific areas. Next, we have the dodge tool, which allows you to lighten specific areas of the image. The burn tool works similarly, but it lets you darken specific areas to improve the overall precision of the matting process. The undo, redo, and reset buttons are also available to help you quickly revert any changes, reapply them, or reset your image entirely if needed. The mask highlight tool allows you to change the highlight color, which makes it easier to see and refine the selected areas during the matting process. Once you're happy with your adjustments, it's time to export your image. First, you'll need to configure your export settings. At the bottom right of the interface, unfold the export settings. Choose the bit format you want. Options include PNG 8-bit and PNG 16-bit. By default, I usually go with level 3. Next, select your output folder, where you want to save the image. Once your export settings are set, you have two options for exporting. The single export button lets you export one image at a time, while the batch export button is perfect for exporting multiple images in one go, ideal for large projects. For this tutorial, I'll use the single export option. And just like that, the image export is complete in just a few seconds. As you can see with the single export option, we've got the same image with multiple effects, including a transparent background, feathered edges, and a blurred background. Now, let's quickly do the same for two or three more images using the same settings and method. We'll remove their backgrounds and check out the results. ARD Image Matting offers a really user-friendly experience with lifetime access to all its features, including precise background removal and seamless blending. Plus, with a 30-day money-back guarantee, the software can be licensed for use on up to three PCs, and right now it's available for just $75, down from $109. And here are the results after using ARD image matting for background removal, smooth, precise, and seamless blends for each image. Whether you're working with product photos, portraits, or more intricate details, this tool makes background removal super easy. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and share it with others. And don't forget to stay tuned for more tutorials coming your way.